Hello. Recently for Biology Homework, I was given the task of creating a model of the double helix. And for those of you who are rather stuck with this, this is how to do it. Here are the things you will need. A packet of acetate, which is the clear plastic sheets you use in overhead projectors. A packet of permanent markers with at least four colours and a black marker. A ruler. And finally, a roll of clear sticky tape and you're ready to go. To start, take one sheet of acetate and place it in landscape format. Next, take your black marker and your ruler and from the top left corner of the landscape sheet find the seven and a half centimeter mark and place a little dot there. Repeat this process for the bottom right corner again seven and a half centimeters in. Next the dot at the top needs to join up with the bottom right corner. And the line at the bottom needs to line up with the top left corner. And what you should be left with is this. Next, tilt the paper so that the lines are horizontal relative to you. Then, take the black marker and the ruler and begin marking a line completely vertical from about here and leave a space of one and a half centimeters approximately and then another and continue this process. Uh, and what you should be left with is this. Next, choose four colours from the marker pens. I've chosen brown, green, red and blue because there's a good contrast between them, but you can have whatever you like. These represent the bases, so select two of them and then put them into two pairs. These must always stay together. I've chosen blue and red and green and brown as my two pairs. Now, at the end of each line, which represent our strands, just insert coloured circles, not too big, not too small, the red at one end and the other colour in the pair at the other end. and repeat this for the next pair. So, that's are the first four bases that have been added. For example, red can never go with brown and blue can never go with green. And repeat this process all the way down the helix. So, in remembering your colour pairs, you should finish with something that looks like this. So, once you've got this, just take one end of the sheet, roll it over, not too tightly, all the way to the end, and then you should get something a bit like this, but of course it's not finished yet, and that is why we will need our sticky tape. Just apply about five or six centimetres of tape down the join there, and that's going to hold it together. Then take your next piece of tape, and just lay that down. And there you go. That is the double helix model made from just some acetate, some pens, and some sellotape.
So that's the end of this instructional video. I hope you found it useful. And if you're Aspirator Double Helix, you'll know what to do.